How many times have you overlooked that vulnerability in your container and not addressed it? Here today I'm going, I've got a container with the shell shock vulnerability and I'm going to show you how you can both gain access to the container and to the underlying host system. Of starting my Metasploit console here and pointing it out to my vulnerable container on my local host. Typically it's this website that you see in front of you. Uh, you can enter your name into the guest book. It will then run a CGI based script in the back end upon completion. I'll be able to log into the container uh, and you can see that now I've exploited it. I'm starting to get the shell of the container so I can now browse around. I'm now going to then be able to delete a file. So essentially disable this website uh, after you sort of enter your name. I'll enter my name initially. That works. Now let me try and change and remove that file and try again. So I've been able to delete that file and affect the service, disable it. I can also append anything I like to different files. I can, as a root user within that container, I can pretty much touch anything I like. And you can see here, you've been hacked uh, within that visitor info text I've also applied. I'm now going to try and get access to the host. And I'm going to do this by mounting the, uh, using the FDisk command, mounting that directory within the container. And you can see here, now I've done a directory listing directly on the host. What you've seen here is an exercise at the Red Hat's Builder Container Workshop where we focus on best practices in creating secure and containerized applications, how to run, manage, deploy containers, these security exploits and how to address them, looking at container provenance and give you hands-on access how to build a secure container.